The following video is kindly sponsored by Audible. Stick around at the end for more information. The BC-304 Daedalus-class battlecruiser is the mainstay warship of the Tauri fleet, and one of the most advanced and valuable technological assets available to Homeworld Command. Though the vessel was designed by the Tauri, it incorporates a great many extraterrestrial technologies acquired from allies and enemies alike. This hybridization of technology grants the Daedalus-class an impressive degree of versatility, and allows the Tauri to realistically engage vessels which would previously have been insurmountable. 225 meters in length and 95 meters wide, the space frame of the Daedalus class is efficient and durable. The ship carries a standard crew complement of 200, but can be operated by as few as four individuals in an emergency situation. Facilities for the crew are extensive, including comfortable living quarters, mess halls and infirmaries, but the ship is unable to carry any large number of passengers beyond its standard crew, as the life support systems are calibrated to provide support for only slightly more than 200 individuals, conserving power to be allocated to the ship's combat systems. At the time of its commissioning, the Daedalus class was armed with 32 railgun emplacements and 16 VLS missile tubes, each compatible with Mark III and Mark VIII tactical missiles, as well as the fearsome Mark IX Gatebuster class Naquadria warhead. After two years of service, the Daedalus class received a refit, which equipped the vessel with four Asgard plasma beam cannons. These were some of the most formidable directed energy weapons in existence, and had been known to overpower and even destroy Ori motherships in only a few shots. The Daedalus class could also be modified to include a large deployment bay on its ventral hull, which allowed the craft to carry a single Horizon class strategic weapons platform, a ground attack module carrying six Gatebuster warheads. The BC-304 represents a seamless improvement upon the design of its predecessor, the BC-303 Prometheus class. Where the 303's few alien components were fitted to the vessel after its completion, the 304 was built to integrate these components into its original frame, allowing for a far more streamlined and adaptable design. Among these alien components are an extremely powerful Asgard shield generator, several Asgard matter transporters, a reverse-engineered Goa'uld ring platform, and a supremely advanced intergalactic hyperdrive. The larger frame of the BC-304 allows the ship to serve in the role of a deep space carrier. The ship carries a standard complement of 16 F-302 fighter interceptors, stored within two large hangar bays on the vessel's broadsides. These mid-range strike fighters provide an extra defensive screen for the warship, but can also be loaded with Naquida-tipped missiles and used in deadly attack runs against larger vessels. Daedalus-class ships assigned to the Pegasus Galaxy are also frequently loaded with at least one Lantian Puddle Jumper, taken from the storage bays within the Tauri-controlled city of Atlantis. These vessels are useful for covert operations as a result of their advanced cloaking systems, and can also be used to carry away teams and boarding parties into action. One particular Daedalus-class vessel, the USAF Odyssey, served as the flagship of the Tauri fleet, and as such the ship was often the first to be equipped with any new and advanced technologies acquired by Homeworld Command. By the end of the Ori Crusade, the Odyssey had been equipped with an Alteran cloaking device, a zero-point module, and an Asgard computer core, loaded with vast amounts of valuable data, and affording the ship incredible processing speeds. By the time the Destiny expedition was launched, Homeworld Command had constructed and commissioned six Daedalus-class battlecruisers, four operated by the United States of America, one by the Russian Federation, and one by the People's Republic of China. The design proved itself time and again against opponents often thousands of years in advance of the Tauri, and secured some of the most significant victories in the history of the Stargate program. This video was kindly sponsored by Audible, and this is a service that I'm actually very proud to be sponsored by here, because I have been a huge fan of Audible for many years. It's a really, really fantastic platform. Not only does it provide wonderfully narrated adaptations of written works from the sci-fi and fantasy genres as well as any other genre, but it also offers a wide range of really exciting Audible original series like Alien Out of the Shadows, which even featured the wonderful talents of the now sadly passed Rutger Hauer of Blade Runner fame. It's a very affordable service, because Becoming a subscribed member provides you with a monthly token that you can spend to get an audiobook. Once you get one of these audiobooks, it's yours. 
This is a platform that I've used basically every day for the last three or four years, and I heartily endorse it. You can get your first audiobook for free, plus two Audible originals when you try Audible for 30 days. If you head to audible.com slash spacedoc, or text spacedoc to 500-500. If you're looking for an audiobook to pick up, uh, since this is spacedoc, I feel I'd be remiss not to encourage you to check out Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Corey, first in the Expanse series, as fantastically narrated by Jefferson Mays, a voice that I now completely associate with the Expanse in every way, and a man so talented in narration that they actually named a ship after him in the show and that wasn't me that was the uh, that was a pre-force recon thing uh, the Jefferson Maze is a ship that's hanging around Tycho Station in season 2 I think so that's your first audiobook free plus two audible originals if you head to audible.com slash space doc or text space doc to 500 500 and you can find that link in the description below thanks to audible for this sponsorship and please do go and check it out at the link in the description this is Daniel from space doc signing off Thank you for watching Space Doc. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please do check out the links on the screen right now or in the description below for our Patreon and channel membership services. Anything you can pledge goes towards improving our team and our equipment and allowing us to put together bigger and more exciting video projects for you guys on the channel.